Hey guys, what's going on? Here with Brian. We're going to show you a cartwheel out of a tomanage. Right? So Brian does jiu-jitsu. He's very good. Right? If he goes for tomanage and I go down to the ground with him, it's going to cause me a lot of trouble. He's going to armbar me. Right? Don't want that. Don't want that to happen. All right. So regular right side versus right side tomanage situation. Right? First defense is to lean back the opposite direction. If he goes drop straight tomanage here, Right? If I can keep my posture up, upright and then weight back on the heels, right? this is how I can sort of defend Tomonage. So those are the two first lines of defense for Tomonage. Right? Going the other way, squatting down, keeping my posture upright. But sometimes Brian breaks my off balance forward, he goes in for Tomonage, and now I can no longer posture. And if I stay in this position, and then he releases this and transitions me to Nawaza, or at the worst, he can take me right over for the Tomonage. Right? So in that situation, I need sort of a third line of defense, my last ditch effort, right? Kind of like when you're defending the armbar, the different phases of the armbar has different types of defenses, right? So this is sort of the tomonage that I like to do. Brian's gonna do a classic Yoko tomonage situation where he steps and does a back step across, right? And goes tomonage from this position, what I wanna do, right? As he's bringing my weight forward this way, I wanna bring my body weight over to be able to post on this arm. Okay, so as he's rolling over, I post, and then I do a cartwheel over in order to defend the tomonage, right? So you kind of have to have the foresight and the awareness that he is going for a tomonage. That way, you can sort of time it, right? So if we go from tomonage going in that direction, oh shoot, the tomonage is coming. As he's going, I post, and now I'm in a great position to do judo again. <laughs> Now I'm not on the ground, now I'm not fighting for my life for the Nawaza, and I've sort of succeeded in not getting dragged into the Nawaza or getting thrown with the Tomonage, right? Now this requires a little bit of practice. The way I like to practice it is we're gonna have Ryan sort of sitting into Tomonage position here. Boom, right? And then I return him to the middle, and as he's going for the Tomonage, I try to swing this hand and create this post, okay? I need to be able to do that in order to work the progressions to learn how to do this Tomonage defense. I also have a Tomonage Mastery DVD that I'm going to link down below so you guys can check that out. Thank you very much. Thank, Thank you. Alright, we got one. That was good. <laughs>